Hey, we're releasing a new show about computers. Come and join us next. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ian Baker. I'm general manager of WQJP Television. I bet you're wondering what I'm doing sitting in front of this old computer running Windows 98 and wearing this Commodore Amiga t-shirt. Well, I'm going to introduce a new program here on Channel 38. It's called the Computer Lab Show. Imagine yourself back in elementary school or high school. It, it doesn't really matter. And you're in computer lab class. What was that like? For people that are my age, it usually has something to do with an old computer like this running Windows 98. Or the later ones, even Windows XP. And we would play various edutainment games like the Clue Finders or Kid Picks or what have you. If you went to a ritzy ditzy school, you had computers. Oh. It look like this. Oh, this is the iMac G2. It's purple, this one, but most of them were teal. Oh, I'm gonna put this down before I hurt myself. Oh, and uh, from then you uh, played games like Millie's Math House or Sammy's Science House or, you know, those, those games were kind of weird. And they played some other ones, too. I remember having those in my early elementary school career, and I made little packets that looked like this. I don't remember what program made it, but it's got little text on the inside, and then I drew a picture of a draft on the back for some reason. So, what's the point of all of this? Well... The point of this show is to capture the thoughts and the memories and the nostalgia of sitting in the computer lab back in the 90s and early 2000s. We're going to be Let's Playing through a bunch of games from that time period. Now, I know that Let's Plays are kind of a dying thing today, but there hasn't been a proper Let's Play series on playing old games from that time period, at least none that I could find anyway, so uh, the station feels that we can certainly make a go at it by having some extra content on the channel, and I'm sure you'd appreciate that too. Uh, but first, I gotta... I'm not hosting the show. Well, I am hosting the show, but I uh, need somebody with a little different personality here. It says, with Dr. Dominic Pewter. Well, who's that? Well, it's me. But I put on a strange wine shirt. This wine shirt's got uh, all kinds of old computer stuff on it. Modems and routers and the old monitors. This is an extremely strange looking shirt, but yeah, that looks good. I look like somebody's grandpa now that's really interested in computers. Eccentric is what I'm going for here. This shirt definitely puts it off. Of course, I'm a doctor. You can't be a doctor without a lab coat. There. Now I look like a dentist. Oh, there's one last thing. Where are the old Ray-Bans? There we go. These uh, glasses make me look like Sally Jesse Raphael, but it plays the part pretty good. So, uh, let me just introduce the show again. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Dr. Dominic Pewter, and welcome to the premiere episode of the Computer Lab Show. 
Now let's show where we're going to, or game rather, are we going to be playing? Well, I wanted to do Lego Island. The issue with that is I don't have the right components yet to record on this computer that I built. So we're going to have to wait on that, but that takes a lot. A lot of the games that I have uh, above me I can't run without using this kind of computer. However, Lego Island 2 I can run on my Windows 10 rig. So we're going to be covering Lego Island 2. Now Lego Island 2 was made in 2001 by Silicon Dreams and it's the sequel to Lego Island. I actually have played this game before. I had this in uh, I got it when I was in high school, and, and that was not 2001 when it came out. I grew up with Lego Island, though. But I do remember Lego Island 2 fondly, perhaps for the wrong reasons. It is extremely meme-worthy. I'm surprised they haven't made the memes from it, just from the dialogue and the voice acting. Uh, you'll, you'll see in a, in a minute when I stop blabbing. You know, I still and this box on here has a little keychain on it. I think you know, I still have the little keychain with the brickster. That was always cool. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be playing Lego Island 2: The Brickster's Revenge for our first episode. So if I just stop blabbing, maybe we can get to playing the game. So without further ado, let's play it. Whoa! Here we are! Lego Island 2! I haven't played this game since... Shoot, when was the last time I played this game? Early 2014? I know I was a freshman in college. And I played it in front of some of my friends in our college dorm. Friends that are actually going to be on another program, uh... A spin-off program of this uh, this program called the Computer Lab Show Plus Four. It'll be great. We'll play like Gary's Mod and you know weird stuff like that. Well, anyway, Lego Le Lego Island Two. I uh, guess this thing that we could do is start a new game because that sounds like a pretty good place to start. Oh. I forgot about the load times. The load times in this game are absolutely atrocious. I swear half the game you're going to be staring at this pizza CD combo thing over and over and over again, flipping and spinning and flipping and spinning until you're spinning and flipping off the computer because you're so upset that it takes so long to load. <laughs> Is there an apple on that pizza? Is that what that's supposed to be? Yeah, see, what's that red thing? Next to the pepperoni and the yellow pepper there is a red thing. Is that an apple? Did they put a straight up apple on that pizza? Well, knock me over and call me deconstructed. If it isn't Pepper, the dude with the food. Listen, I've got good news and I've got better news. Which would you like to hear first? Let's I'm hear all ears. The good citizens of Lego Island are donating your new home. Yes, each I'm citizen will contribute a sturdy new Lego brick. But first, you must deliver these delicious pizzas from Papa <laughs> to the good people of Lego Island. Good luck. Whoa! I mean, thank you, sir. I'm on it. Yeah, the voice acting is pretty atrocious in this game. I mean, that's what makes it funny. Also, is it just me, or does, like, everybody look kind of ugly? Hello there! How's my favorite yeah, delivery boy? Yeah, look quite right. I hope you're not leaving the peaches to go cold! I'm not leaving the peaches to go cold! Don't worry! Silicon Dreams is based in Britain, so, uh, all the people speak British. But you have the cars drive on the right side of the road, so I don't get that either. Because then if you go to extreme stunts, 
They drove on the left side of the road, so they had like a switch there for some reason. Hey, I have this set. Hi, Bob. Pizza's for ya. Pepper? Cool. Pizza even cooler. I hope not. I'm supposed to deliver it hot. All systems are go. Here's some bricks. Building always starts with a foundation. I forgot his name was Building. I don't know why he sounds like the NASCAR driver. Hey, Pepper. Great day for a walk in the hills. I've had my pizza, Pepper Dude. There's <laughs> more to deliver down there, though. I've had my pizza, Pepper Dude. <laughs> Nice skateboard. Can I do the skateboards? There we go. Whoa! You know what's bad? I'm. I feel like I'm going slower on the skateboard. Okay. Pepper decides to give up this mission to deliver pizzas and get run over by the train. Ah, <laughs> uh, Super Station Master saves the day. Whoa! Is that a brickable? Where are you taking me? Oh, he takes me in the beginning. Did I, like, lose a life or something? Okay, so he saved me from being run over by the train, but then I get run over by a car. Uh, and an ambulance. Good day, Mr. Mail. Still sorting, I see. Is my parcel here? I'm expecting some special bricks. Hmm. Yes, Pepper, your parcel is here. And I would manage to sort the mail much quicker if I wasn't being interrupted. This is my favorite character. <laughs> oh, hi, Pepper. I can't stop. I'm too busy. I love his voice. Everything about him is great. I couldn't. Well, I... No, I really couldn't. Try over there. <laughs> he just sounds... He just delivers it so deadpan. It's great. Oh, hi, Pepper. I can't stop. I'm too busy. Sounds like a cross between Bill Clinton and Al Gore, except lazy. Who the heck is this? Hi guy? there, Steve. How's tricks? Shush, Pepper. Not so loud. I heard Rob planning a new prank to play on me last night, and I've been hiding from him ever since. This dude's hair. <laughs> this, this dude's hair's in the wrong spot. He has like most of it behind him, and then he's bald on top. Hi, Peppa. Don't work too hard today. Don't work too hard today. You know those pizzas still need delivery over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Steve. I have a job, and I'm planning on doing it. Here we go. Here's a pizza for you. I missed. I don't have time to figure this stuff out. Couldn't Pepper, like, do stuff? Let's do stuff. Duh. I mean... Can he, like, uh, change trees or something? Oh, here's my... Here's what's gonna be my house. Oh. Alright. We're just gonna go in midair. That's cool. There's a hospital. It's Dr. Clickett. Delivery for Dr. Clickett. You're looking good, Pepper. But I've gotta say, the pizza looks even better. Take these bricks and call me in the morning. Your brother's funnier. <laughs> brick by brick, and a house begins to form. Oh, there's the information center. Does he want a pizza? Hello. I hope. There he is. The ambulance should be. Yeah, this guy and the mailman that we just talked to, they're brothers. So we should have, like, enter and return. Oh, wait a minute. This game doesn't have them. They have this guy. Hello, Pete. Just popping in to see how things are going. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. It's nicely oh, quiet at the moment. The just one case of Legoitis phalanges today. Sounds nasty. What is it? Don't worry, Pepper. It's just what happens when you accidentally step barefoot on loose Lego. Phew. I love how we pointed to the opposite person when we were talking to him in that sequence. 
Also, Pete Bog is like my favorite character in this just because of his low Pepper, voice. Night. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk Pepper, to Pete. Enjoying your walk, dude. Enjoying your walk, dude. I'm gonna move this. Uh, whoa! I failed my driving test. I dumped your ambulance in the river. Pepper, enjoying your walk, walk dude. dude. I am enjoying my walk, dude. It's not over yet. Pizza required over there. All right. Uh, the ambulance just spawned on top of me. Help me! I'm stuck. I'm taking this. Actually, I want to figure out how the heck do I change colors. Oh, I don't have the manual with me. Dang. We spinning the camera. I want to see. Ah, okay. Camera controls. Aha! It's the inner key. Ooh, it's black. Pepper's getting bored. Blue. It's green. Orange. Straight up orange. Oh, that, that looks like Pepper Star right there. Oh, it's my camera. Ah, oh, it takes so long. All right. Oh, we'll need an ambulance after I'm done. Uh oh, I switched it. I don't know. I could switch it mid uh, mid flight here. Ah, <laughs> Mimi, did you hear that one? <laughs> Red, dancing dude, dancing it's Pepper dude. waltzing in with your pizza. You like my new moves, Pepper? No. Wow, pizza. Suddenly I'm real hungry. I lose track of time while I dance. Thanks for the pizza, Pepper, and you have some groovy bricks for your house. A few home comforts That's for really Pepper, weird. as a home would be just a house without them. What happened to his friends from Lego Island 1? You know, Polygon or whatever. Hello, Rhoda. It's Pepper sneaking up on you on the inside. Okay, Rhoda, so, there. how did your last wraith go? Not so good, Pepper. I came last, but then I had danced till dawn the night before, so it was my own fault. Next time I should celebrate after the race, and maybe it would be a victory celebration. <laughs> maybe. You don't learn nothing. Snap! What are you doing? Oh, hi, Pepper. I'm trying out some new dance moves for the next party. Unfortunately, I think they might be a bit hard. Pepper's standing like two inches away from, from Snap's face. <laughs> Look at his little dance. Oh, that's great. Oh, why are they all living together dancing all the time? Sounds like a place of utter, total debauchery. I don't want to be here. They ran over their butts. The, the dude with the food is here, DJ Man. And we're here now with Pepper. Hmm, doesn't sound very radio. The temperature is warm, the pizza is hot, and Pepper is so hot he's cool, and these bricks are for you. I don't understand <laughs> that. <laughs> little one, you're just another brick in the wall. This guy coming on to Pepper because it seems pretty weird. He's so hot that he's cool. Hi, Pepper. How's you doing, dude? How's you doing, dude? <laughs> News flash: Pizza delivery boy forgets his own round. Obviously, I'll forget my own round. Pizza's around, dude. Go to the train station. Hi, yes, station master. The train running on time? Hi, Pepper. Of course, the train is running on time. <laughs> Oh, better go. I've got some station announcements to make. They didn't even try for him. They just phoned home. It's just so bad. Pepper, stay sharp, dude. <laughs> That's the best one. Dude, I'm too super to eat pizza. You'd better try over there. 
There's no inflection at all. Pepper, stay sharp, dude. <laughs> Pepper, stay sharp, dude. Oh, he picked me up again. No! Okay, I lost my ambulance. There's no somebody yet. This kid's playing soccer. Pepper's here. I am the fastest pizza deliverer Pepper's in the not West. Very good at staying you are the bubbles. fastest pizza deliverer anywhere, Pepper. I've only just put the phone down. <laughs> oh yeah. Put the phone I got down. a load of bricks for your new home, Pepper. I hope you like them. I don't even know who that guy is. Hey, Pepper, you'll have a home in no time. Ground floor almost complete. Pepper needs to learn some distance here. Hello, Pepper! Looking good, dude! Did his voice just change? I hope that pizza isn't cold. It needs to go over there. Like, all of a sudden, he turned Latino all of a sudden. That time he was like a smooth jazz player. Let's see him playing a saxophone, and then all of a sudden, he's like, Hello, Pepper! Looking good, dude! Who's this guy? Good day, Master Pickings, and how's your morning been? Pickings? I say, Pepper Old Bean, my morning has been most satisfactory. And if I may be so bold, I must compliment you on your dashing clothes. I don't understand that guy at all. Hello, Pepper! I don't want to talk to you, I want to talk to this guy over here. Pepper, stay with it, dude. Don't let the pizza go cold. The pizza go cold. What is Pepper, on your face? Stay with it, dude. <laughs> He's got a nose. Don't let the pizza go cold. They're needed over there. He's wearing like skate clothes. <laughs> he sounds so uppity. It doesn't make any sense. Alright, we'll talk to these soccer players. Keeping busy, huh, Pepper? Keeping busy, huh? Better Pepper? not stop! I think someone's waiting for that pizza! I'm waiting for that pizza. What about your friend here? Pepper's pizza makes me dribble. That pizza ain't mine. Better take it to the right person. Pizza? I don't know who this guy is. He has no name, but <laughs> this is the best line in this entire game. Pepper's pizza makes me dribble. Pepper's pizza makes me dribble. <laughs> Save a pizza for me, Pepper. Okay, that is what that other guy should have been wearing. You need to pass that pizza on correctly. Alright, what is this, Mr. Bean? Why is Mr. Bean playing soccer? Save a pizza for me, Pepper. You need to pass that pizza on correctly. That is so weird. This car is making noise. Can I change the color of this car? Ooh, it's green. I like that. I don't remember how to back up. Ah. Left alt. That makes sense. Ah, uh, I don't remember who I delivered pizzas to and who I didn't deliver pizzas to. Oh, there's this guy. Rob, I got your pizza here. Pepper, I haven't forgotten your chili surprise. <laughs> I hope this pizza is the one I ordered this time. This guy sounds like he shoved his oh, duck down his throat. I have some bricks for you, Pepper. Don't worry, none of them explode or anything like that. Honest. I Honest. love this job. Building things for the Lego Islanders is so satisfying. They gave me my windows Hey, doors. Pepper. Off on your trails, I see. Oh, I see. Be sure to deliver over there, Pepper. Be sure to deliver pizza, Pepper. None of them explode or anything like that. Honest. Oh. Nancy, pizza delivery for you. Just put it on the bench for me, Pepper. <laughs> he has Nubby's out back, and he has some bricks for you. He 
just pass the pizza through her stomach. I'm gonna talk to the mailman. Oh, hi, Pepper. I, I, already, I could. I already talked to the mailman, that's right. I forgot. Hey, come back here. I need to talk to you about something. I will not let you leave your... Yo, Nubby. I hear you have some great bricks for me. Yo, Pepper, would you look at these? And look at these. I found them in the scrapyard, cleaned them up, did a bit of welding, and now they're better than new. Lovely. A roof overhead to keep the rain off and a nice bedroom for sleeping in, of course. I gotta say, uh, Nubby's pretty skilled for him to be able to weld pure ABS plastic. Morning, Jack. Got any new offers in today? Hi, Pepper. Unfortunately, I'm waiting on a delivery. Maybe this afternoon, definitely tomorrow. Why is Vlad Dracula dressed in a tank top? Welcome, Pepper. Do you like my new sign? Um... They mean this one with the asterisk on it? Well, it's, uh... communicates very well. I guess. None for me, Pepper. Thanks for the offer, though. Try over there. Try over there. Alright, I'll try over there. Hmm. It says no pizza. I'm gonna see if the Brewster wants pizza. Hey, Pepper. How goes it? I'd love some, but I think the pizza needs to go over there. See, Pepper's an idiot regardless. See, they made the sign a, a picture sign because Pepper probably still can't read. Hello, Laura. Uh, Officer Laura Brick, that is. 10-4, good buddy. And you sure do know how to protect and serve. Protect and serve. Good pizza, that is. Have these bricks. <laughs> it's kind of awkward how she just like... Attention to detail is my middle name. Huh. Actually, it isn't. I think I have that set, too. Hiya, Nick. I mean, Officer Nick Brick. I salute you, Pepper, and I double salute your pizza. Duty, pizza. honor, and a good sauce. <laughs> here, here, and here's my bricks. Anyway, you now have a bed to sleep in, Pepper. So much more comfortable than the floor. I would think so. Let's just... Incredibly bad. Oh, it's him again. Darren. There's Valerie. Greetings, Valerie Stubbins. Pepper, coming at ya. Just in time, Pepper. The pizza is a lifesaver. Hunger over. Building has almost finished building. Just the top floor roof and then we're finished here. Means they got one more pizza to deliver. What's up, Papa Bricolini? Always a warm spot in my heart when I see you, Pepper. Or is that gas? Is no, that gas? No, kidding. It's you. Have, have some kids. bricks. Have some bricks. Finished. And that's why they call me Building. I finished already? I didn't even deliver all of the pizzas. Pepper, stay out of trouble. I hear you finally got your own place. Hiya, Mama Bricolini. Ah, Pepper, I would sing you a song, but I'm still looking for a word that rhymes with the pizza. I could hum a song, I suppose. <laughs> now, what rhymes with the bricks? Oh. She got beat with the ugly stick so bad. Howdy, partner! Keeping busy. And she's definitely no June Foray from Lego Island. Howdy, partner! Howdy, partner! Oh, nothing extra to say? Howdy, partner! Howdy, partner! I still have one pizza left to deliver, though. Hang on. Maggie Post to do it. Hello, Mrs. Post. Yours is the top box. Margarita, right? The top box? <laughs> we have Sorry, one pizza can't left stay in here. chat. The pizzas will get cold. Oh, I mustn't keep you then. I will get Ed to deliver your brick parcel later. Give the Bricolinis my regards and do tell them to pop round again soon. I haven't had a conversation with them for such a long time. 
You will do that for me, won't you, Pepper? Will do, Mrs. Post. I guess she's the chatty Cathy type. She was always the gossip queen in the first run. Uh, let's check out this new house. Pizza, pizza. I still have a ton of pizzas, though, from throwing this many. Yellow! Yellow? Hey, Pepper, my good friend! You did such a fine job today! Yes, such a fine, fine, super fine job! He's buttering yes, me up. Sorry. Okay, so what do you want me to do now, Papa? Just the one more teeny, eeny, weeny pizza delivery job! I need you at the pizzeria, Pepper, okay? You got it, Papa, because I'm the dude with the food and I'm on my way. That's uh, my boy. He's the dude with the food. That doesn't sound ominous after all. Okay, I think we're going to use that as a stopping point. It's kind of ominous that Papa Bricolini is just like, eh, ah, we're just going to, you know, I hope you did good, I'm buttering you up so you have to do something terrible next. So, uh, but that's going to be in the next part here. So, uh, with that behind us, thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to stay tuned to us on WQJP for new videos I released. Until next time, I'm Dr. Dominic Pewter saying good luck, Godspeed, and God bless.